Hi guys, this is Omer from MMOHut.com and I'm going to do a quick PvP video for Vista Fu, a 3D, well 2D side-scrolling uh, fantasy action MMORPG published by Outspark. Now I'll spend about 10 to 15 minutes running around checking this game out, make some comments. If you guys want to play Vista Fu or to learn more about it, do check out the full review on the link below. And you heard me right, this will be a PvP video, an epic level 3 fighter PvP video. I wanted to mix things up a little bit and at least try something a bit different in my, my video, so I'm going to do a quick PvP video in Vista Fu. So you can see my awesome character going up and down. Down, up and down. How awesome is that name, guys? QT. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump into the game over here. And yes, I am a dude playing a female character. And uh, I, I like my witty name over here. So you know what? Let's go ahead and log in right now and close the shenanigans out. And we start off in my little house over here. Awesome to see my maid in my house over here named Mai. She's just kind of trying to do her elite little balance over there. All right. Uh, welcome back. I can think of a few things you can do for me, but for now, let's close you out and let's leave. And this will not be a this will this will be a bit different than my first impression of the video because instead I'm gonna just jump into the game and we're gonna go ahead and go to the PvP arena right away and we'll see how I fare in PvP. There's General Bananas over there and we got Ping. Anyway, let's go further down over here and enter the PvP. But the funny thing is, you don't have to go over here to enter PvP. You just click on the little PvP button over here. And in case you don't know a lot about Fist of Fu, it's actually a game that plays a lot like uh, Dragonic Online, which is actually called Dragon Saga right now. I actually didn't play this game too much because I was playing more Dragon Saga when this game was around. Though it was called Draconic Online back when I was playing that. Now it's called Dragon Saga. But this game is very much similar to Dragon Saga, as well as uh, Lunia, as well as a lot of other games. Because once you leave town, you play in these instance matches, which you can play on m numerous different difficulty levels. There's a lot of games like that now, including Divine Souls. Even Vindictus has that style of gameplay. But anyway, enough of that. Let's go join an actual game right now. PvP match over here. We got Team Deathmatch, Survival Mode, and a few other game modes. And the levels are 1 to 50. Let's go do this one, break in. Up to uh, 8 players over here, so let's go ahead and fight right now. But keep in mind, I am at a pretty big disadvantage because I'm only level 3 on this character. So your stats get amplified quite a bit. I'm at 56,000 HP or so forth. And the game is actually 2D. It has a whole like 3D feel to it, so it's kind of fake. It's like a fake 3D over here. Let's go run further down over here and let's see how I do. I totally forgot my controls for a second. There we go, ZNX. And the thing about PvP is though, it's kind of weird. I've done the PvP in this game before, but I've never actually recorded myself doing it. But you know what? Let's see how I do right now. It's a, it's a team match right now. Those are my teammates over there. Probably shouldn't be killing them. And the thing is, uh, some, when, when enemies do their special attacks, it kind of freezes your screen for a second. And a lot of the battles come down to who gets the first attack first. Like, I got, I hit that guy first. He couldn't do anything. Because when you, when you do combos and fist to foot, it kind of locks you in place for a little while. I hit that guy. I'm going to go run away until he gets up. And I'm going to go swing at him again. What a nub. He's taking it. He's taking my sword. Well, bam, and let's go run away while he gets up, and we're going to try again in a second. He did his little special move over there. There, I knocked him down again. We're going to run away and hit him down again when he gets back up. So it comes out a lot to who gets the first attack down. This guy's a scrub. Oh, man, he hit me this time. But it comes out to in battle who gets the first attack in, because once you get your attack and you get the three-hit combo, and you knock him down. So my awesome little, little walking over here, just, just relaxing for a second. I can double tap to run. And gameplay-wise, like I said, the game is very much similar to Lunia, Dragon Saga, and those style of games. Because once you leave town in this game, it's got those little instance missions that can be played in numerous different difficulties. Though it's kind of weird because there is no persistent world like there is in Dragon Saga, at least. Instead, you always have those instances. Though when you're in town, you are in a persistent area. We keep jumping up and down as well. Now, this game is actually moderately popular. It's not as popular as Fiesta Online, which is Outspark's other game. But uh, if you're looking for like an action game, uh, you might want to give the game a try. Though I prefer Dragon Saga over Fist of Fu. Dragon Saga, Dragon Saga is kind of fun. Though if you're looking for an action MMORPG, you definitely want to give Vindictus a try. Though it's kind of weird that that game is still not out in Europe yet. What are they doing? So let's keep jumping up and down. And the thing about this is, even though my stats are amplified, I am still at a disadvantage, being that I'm level three. Because I only have access to one skill right now, my one uh, one skill I learned before I joined this uh, PvP arena. So I am at a huge disadvantage, and I got here for 5.5k HP there. Didn't quite land any of my my pro hits yet. My my, I just did my attack right now, and I hit nobody. Go me. Let's go kill these guys up over here. Water wizards on my team over there, and I'm gonna go chase this guy, and he got the first attack off. But luckily he missed me afterwards. Oh man, I am getting uber ganked right here. Nope. I'm curious what my stats are right now. Look at the top right. You see the statistics. And I am, uh, where's my QT is 0 and 1. Look at that, I got one assist. Go me, no deaths yet. Did I just get that kill? Nope. Uh, he's not dead yet. He's got a lot more HP. But the thing about this, another really annoying ask for the PvP and Fist of Fu is one, uh, it's a biggie, guys. It's a biggie. Is that it doesn't take a lot of skill, because you just kind of mash the keys. But besides that, whoever gets the kill, you know, you get a kill point for it, it comes out to whoever kill steals last, because the guys have so much HP that it takes forever to kill them. And it comes out to whoever runs by and gets that last hit wins. These guys are just ganking me over here. What a-holes. Let's go kill both of them. And I am... There you go. Lose my lead attack. Bam! 2.7k HP. 
But even if I weaken my enemies really, like, really far to, like, 1 HP, the odds of me getting the last hit are so low. I got DOT'd over there. And I am dead. Oh, man, guys. Don't worry. You Luckily, you can respawn. Though, uh, in some modes, you have a certain number of lives. Kind of like you do in Smash Brothers when you play with stock. Over here, I think I just keep respawning. And it comes down to whoever, whoever has the most kills wins. Because we got 5 versus 5. So, the teams are right now even. The score is even, not the teams. And we have a time limit over here as well. 3 minutes, 38 seconds. And items are forbidden in this game mode. It looks like there are items in the other game modes as well. So, there's actually some variety in the PvP. And the PvP, uh, again, I, there's, there's not a lot of skill. It's a lot of mindless action. Which is actually pretty cool. Because I don't mind mindless action. Mindless action is fun sometimes. So I'm going to keep dodging those guys. And the cool thing about Fist of Foo's PvP is you can kind of jump into the PvP right away early on. I know, what's that game? I know the game kind of had a very similar PvP structure where it was kind of equalized. It is, I mean, again, my stats are amplified because I have 56,000 HP, but I don't have the same skills other players do. And I hate the fact that when enemies use skills, it totally you know, locks your screen for a second. So you got to watch their character kind of do that whole shenanigans. I am in the rookie clan too, pretty random. But I am getting owned. So you know, I probably shouldn't die because I'm only going to make my team lose then. So let's run further back over here and kind of watch. I'm playing a warrior. There's actually a few classes in the game, but uh, I'm only playing a warrior right now. If I remember correctly, there are three or four classes. I don't know why I can't remember that right now. But you know what, guys? I can't remember that right now. So that guy is not on my team, and I am down to 6k HP. Man, he just uber comboed me. I'm going to get up and hit him, though. Nope, he... Man, this guy's a boss. Look at him. He just ran. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep running away. And the thing about this is, I can always keep running away. There's no way that guy's going to chase me. He's going to keep chasing me. I'm not going to stop running. I'm going to keep running because I'm a boss. I got to run for another two minutes, though, for the, for the game to end over here. Am I still being chased, though? You can see on the bottom right, I guess, my teammates, what levels they are on. I'm level three only. It sucks for me. But you can see what levels they are, too. That guy's not on my team, and I am dead. So now it's 9 and 9. So it's actually not that bad because it's even again. I probably shouldn't have died because we would be well into the lead if I didn't die over there. But let's see how I do in my next res over here, in my next life. A cool thing about Fist of Foo's PvP, as I was going to mention this earlier, is that you can actually jump into the PvP pretty early on. It seems like PvP in most uh, MMORPGs is like a late game experience. Isn't something you get to do early on. At least in Fist of the Foo, you can kind of experience... Oh man, I'm all, I'm all green now. It's something you can experience right away. Which is definitely not a bad thing, because... Very few MMORPGs, unless you play hardcore, you can ever get to the PvP phase where you can actually have a lot of fun in PvP. I mean, games like Perfect World, Ika, you gotta do a lot of time playing the game before you can jump into the PvP. Though the PvP itself is much more rewarding in those games, but PvP in Fist of Foo has its rewards as well, which I just remembered right now. As you PvP, you gain PvP levels. I am PvP level 1 right now. Pretty bad, but you know what? It's PvP level 1. I gotta stop dying, because I don't want to make my team lose. I am 0-2 right now. That's pretty bad. Actually, I have 2 assists, so it's not awful, but it's pretty bad. But you, you get PvP levels, and as you get PvP levels, you can basically buy new badges in the game. PV, PvP badges can only be worn if you, if you meet the requirements for them, which is a certain PvP level. And they boost your attributes, so it's, you do get rewarded for doing PvP. So I feel like the rewards could be a lot more, because right now, all you have are those PvP badges. It'd be, it'd be really cool if they added, like, P special PvP skills and other things to reward you for doing PvP. And that guy, I, I get, I gotta stop dying. And I got, there, boom, 2.7k HP damage. But my attacks don't do a lot of damage right now, because, again, I am level 3. Everybody else is higher level. Let's go kill that mage over there. I'm a warrior, so I'm gonna go kill you. Oh, man. Oh, I just got owned. And while they do the special attacks, I can't quite hit them. And I am down to 8k HP again. You know what? There's 30 seconds on the clock. I am not going to die. Because if I die, my team loses. So let's keep on running. They're, those a-holes are chasing me. I'm going to keep running away. And luckily, we all move the same speed. because And meaning there's, there's no way they can chase me. Oh, catch up to me, actually. They can keep trying to chase me, but they won't catch up to me. So let's keep going on. And, around, and again, the game is like this fake PvP. If they got, oh, guys, right there. So I probably shouldn't keep running around in circles. Because if he stands still, oh, man, you missed me too. Oh, man, keep chasing me, bro. Keep chasing me. You ain't going to get me. And now it's 11-12. I'm not sure which team I'm on. I'm on the blue team, so we're going to win if I keep running away. Oh, crap. I got hit. Keep dodging. Keep dodging. Keep dodging. Oh, man. Victory for me. Made my awesome little cute face over there. So, go me. I was on the 6K HP. If I got killed, we would have tied. So, whoop, we can see some of the damage over here. Water Wizard over here carried us to victory with 253,000 in damage. So, go him. Let's go get out of here for a second. You can see that up to 16 target kills, 16. So, whoever gets 16 kills wins. Or within the time limit, you have your time limit set over here too. Item usage is allowed or forbidden. So, you can probably use potion and stuff too. Pass 40 QT. That person likes my name. I guess he's saying I'm awesome. I'll take it. I don't know what they're saying actually. But close this out too. Now, the PvP in Fist of Foo is not that popular. It's actually a small component of the game. 
and it's nowhere near as big as the Perfect World PvP or Ica or other you know, PvP heavy MMORPGs. Here is kind of something you can kind of just do if you're bored every once in a while. And the rewards again for, for PvP in Fist of Fu are not that great. And this is me on the DAO server. We can see, uh, can we create our own room right now to see the game modes available? Uh, there we go, create a game. We got Team Deathmatch, Team Competition, and Survival Game. Survival Game is FFA, I'm not sure what Team Competition is, but... Uh, defeat all enemies. There you go. So on Team Deathmatch, you can kind of set the number of players and stuff. So we can get up to 16, uh, 16 kills. Items allowed are forbidden. So you can set your own you know, game settings as well. Unfortunately, again, the PvP is not a big portion of the game. If you do want to play Fist of Fu, you probably won't be doing much PvP anyway. So again, you kind of jump into PvP early on. I'm curious now that like it seems like a lot of fantasy uh, 2D side scrolling MMORPGs are doing their own PvP now too. Maple Story will have its own PvP starting with the Chaos update, which is launching I think summer of 2011. And uh, Win Wind Slayer has his own PvP as well, though that game is not that popular. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna call it for now. If you guys do want to play Fist of Foo or just learn more about it, do check out the full review on, on MMORPG.com on the link below. Anyway, guys, later.